Welcome to our reflections for this week. I hope and pray that you know that God loves you so much, that he hears all your prayers and that he answers them, though sometimes it is in a way that we do not expect. As the art piece reminds us today, prayer is sometimes a puzzle. When we pray, the results are often more unpredictable than we would like. And so sometimes we can even question why such and such happened or did not happen. This can lead us to complain to God or even doubt that he has heard us. This is natural and God is big enough to take all our complaints as we continue to consider the puzzle of prayer that we experience. As we think about this, we are going to hear a reading which is from Psalm 42 and will be read by Sheila Lowry. Our reading is from Psalm 42 using the NIV translation. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night. Why people say to me all day long, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the Mighty One, with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throng. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. My soul is downcast within me, therefore I will remember you from the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon, from Mount Miser. Deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls. All your waves and breakers have swept over me. By day the Lord directs his love at night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? My bones suffer mortal agony as my foes taunt me saying to me all day long, Where is your God? Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. Amen. As we continue to think about prayer this week, we are going to look at the issue of unanswered prayer, which can be a real puzzle. We can all feel a sense of satisfaction and delight when our prayers are answered how we hope they will be. But I am sure that many of us have had times in our lives when we have felt that our prayers were not answered as we wanted them to be. When we pray, we do receive a variety of answers, which sometimes make sense and sometimes less so. Sometimes when we pray, we sense God saying to us, yes, and indeed our prayers are answered almost exactly how we wanted them to be. However, sometimes it is no, or not yet, or maybe, or wait and see, or just silence. It is these answers that are often a real puzzle to us. For from our viewpoint, there seems no reason why our prayer should not be answered the way we want it to be. 
And indeed, we can really begin to question God. In our reading, we read that the psalmist felt exactly the same. For they declared, my tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me all day long, where is your God? And then later on in the psalm, we read, I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? It is good to be honest with God and to tell him exactly how we feel. While pain and suffering can often be part of our lives, we know that God cares deeply for us and that he is always with us. Prayer is not about asking God to make our lives trouble free. Prayer is about seeking God's will for our own lives, the world, and then being prepared to help him in the work that he has called us to do. Of course it is natural to want our prayers answered and it is annoying when life doesn't go the way that we think it should. And yet we can find real reassurance from the fact that God always hears our prayers. Philip Yancey described it like this, the trail of God at work rarely follows a straight line, which means our prayers may well produce different answers than we expect. Again and again in my life, my prayers have not always been answered in the way that I wanted them to be. But looking back, I know for certain that God has guided me and has constantly watched over me, despite all the hard times that I've had to endure. We never see the big picture in life. All we see is the picture from where we are. It is like seeing only a few pieces from a jigsaw and then trying to determine what the full image is. We often struggle to see clearly as we read in 1 Corinthians 13. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as also I am known. Also, it is important to remember that our lives are all interconnected. And so events take place because of our own decisions, as well as the decisions of other people. Therefore, because God cannot override the free will that humans have, then sadly tragic events take place which break God's heart as well as our own hearts. Therefore, often when we pray, all we can do is put forward suggestions. We cannot make demands. We do not know better than God, for our view and our knowledge is far more limited. Also, often the answer to our prayers depends on the actions of other people. Indeed, we can often be the answer to someone else's prayer, for we are called to serve God in many different ways. That is why it's important that we take time to listen to God, for by listening, we can find out what is on God's heart and fulfill his purposes. We need to use the words of Bob Pierce, the founder of the global charity World Vision, who prayed, Lord, may my heart be broken by what breaks your heart. Remember that the church is described in the New Testament as a body. And so we need to care for all parts, guided by Jesus, who is the head of the body. As Paul writes in 2 Corinthians, let us give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the merciful Father, the God from whom all help comes. He helps us in all our troubles so that we are able to help others who have all kinds of troubles using the same help that we ourselves have received from God. Therefore, just as other people are likely to feature in the answer to our prayers, so we are likely 
to feature in the answer to other people's prayers. I'm not saying that unanswered prayers are easy to deal with. They often bring us pain and confusion and can cause us to question God and doubt his love for us. However, in the Bible we read about people whose reaction to unanswered prayers were very similar and yet they continued to trust God and they knew that they were safe with him. This is what the psalmist said, which we read earlier on. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why does so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my saviour and my God. Therefore, in all our prayers, we need to wait on God and continue to trust in him knowing that he is with us. God always hears us and he will answer our prayers, although not always the way that we would like. God loves and cares for us and we remain precious to him all through our lives. Shall we pray? Loving God, our caring and supportive Father, we are so grateful for all that you have done for us. You do indeed hear all our prayers. You do indeed respond to them. You do indeed answer them in some way. Father, your grace and mercy, your love and kindness, your joy and delight are truly amazing and are so dearly appreciated by us. Wherever we are, we can praise you and remember your wonderful characteristics and all that you have done for us. Father, draw near to us, listen to our hearts and respond in accordance with your will. We give thanks for the many times that we have seen and understood your answers to our prayers in a clear way. Sometimes it has been a yes, sometimes a no, and sometimes another answer. However, we have understood it and looking back can see the reasons for your reply. We also thank you for your care for us during the times which have been harder for us to grasp events that have caused us real pain, situations that have brought us tears, concerns that have meant that we were in distress. We may never understand the reasons, but we do continue to trust in you. We are glad that you have told us that each one of our tears is important to you and in fact, you weep with us. While you always continue to guide us, we are grateful for your support during the hard times of our lives when we face the puzzle of unanswered prayers. Father, we are grateful that we can always pray to you, that we can always tell you about the people who are dear to us and know that you care for them. Those who are ill and are in need of your healing. Those who are sad and who mourn the loss of loved ones. Those who are struggling on despite great hardships. Father, be with each person and give them your strength and your endless support. And as we pray, Lord, may our hearts be broken by what breaks your heart. Help us to see the ways that we can be the answer to someone else's prayer. And forgive us when we have been unwilling to say, do or plan in order to help those in need. Father, we also remember the people who demonstrate your endless love 
for each person. Give strength to those serving in our health service, those caring for people in the care homes or in the person's own home. Give wisdom to those in positions of leadership in businesses and organisations, in families and communities, in regions and nations. And give hope to all as we endure these uncertain times and wait for a return to what was before. Father, as we continue to consider the puzzle of prayer, may we always remember to trust you and know that we remain precious to you now and always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you to everyone who sent in photos for this week's community space, which you can see in a moment, which has the theme of puzzles. Next week, the theme for our community space is time. And so you may want to send in photos, videos or messages connected with that theme. It may be something to do with clocks or watches or sundials or places where you like to pass the time. So as we continue to reflect on prayer, let us sing the hymn, When Peace Like a River. my 
So as we pray, let us continue to trust God, knowing that he will always answer our prayers and that he will surround us with his endless love. And until we meet again, take care, stay safe, and may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen.